Good morning, everybody. Because of Corona this year, our courses have been delayed. Now, we can finally start our lesson. Well, I'm very glad to see you here today. The class I'm going to take today is the introduction part of TCM. Before we have our lesson, first, let me introduce myself. I come from the first F80 hospital of Fujian Medical University. My name is Wu Jianming. Today, we will learn the introduction of traditional Chinese medicine, short for TCM. Before we have our lesson, I want to ask you some questions. How to keep health? What are some experience or stories you have with TCM? Have you ever tried Chinese herbal medicine? How does it taste? Does Chinese herbal medicine have side effects? Can children take Chinese herbal medicine? What is your attitude towards TCM? Any volunteer? If you have any question, you can raise your hand, not hesitate. Anyone here? Can children take Chinese herbal medicine? Yes. Does Chinese herbal medicine have side effects? Hmm. Yes. Very good. How does it taste? Is it bitter? Yes. Good. Let me move to the four words. Traditional Chinese medicine, a treasure house of culture with its known history of thousands of years. In its known course of development, it has absorbed the classic Chinese philosophy, culture, and science, and summarized the experience of Chinese people in fighting against disease. It has made great contribution to the prosperous growth of Chinese nation in the past thousands of years. Who is she? Yes. It's Tu Yu In the year 2015, the whole world was rejoiced for a Chinese woman named Tu Yu because of using TCM. Through a lot of experience, a new anti malarian drug, malarian drugs, Admisinin, was extracted from a traditional plant and saved the lives of the countless malaria patients. She sent a gift to the world. Because of this, she has become the first Chinese woman to win a Nobel Prize. Another evidence of Chinese medicine serving the world is anti-epidemic. The COVID-19 pandemic is a global public health. You know, with the evidence of the COVID-19 in 2020, it is bound to be an extraordinary year. In addition to traditional prescriptions, doctors and nurses also use acupuncture, massage, and other methods to carry out traditional Chinese medicine treatments. It's obviously to all. We can see traditional Chinese medicine plays an important role in anti-epidemic. And uh, this, the pharmacy staff is taking the medicine. And if the doctor feels pause with the patient, and that doctors and patients do exercise in the shelter together. The shelter hospital has zero deaths and zero infections among medical staff. Let's move on to another issue. Chinese medicine is very holistic and is mainly focused on balance of yin and yang. TCM believes that the balance of yin and yang makes us happy. All the yin and yang and five elements. These theories are based on ancient Chinese philosophy. And I will be describing this in six areas. The theoretical system, the four medical classes of the foundation, the theoretical system of TCM, the four traditional diagnosis methods, famous doctors, therapies, TCM in international market. The first, now, theory system, it includes yin and yang, the five phases, qi, meridian, and collect. The preliminary yin yang theory. It's believed that the theory first starts based on watching the changes of day into night and night into day. People often say that we live in a multipolar world. In fact, we are usually influenced by two polarities, such as heaven and earth, up and down, the sun and the moon, day and night. In originates from the sun and represent the warm, rainiest, excitement, high speed, while in originates from the moon, and represent coldest, dumbest, quiescence, no speed. In and yang is a generation of or opposite side of the interconnector things and phenomena in nature. Everything in the universe contains yin and yang. Female, static, dark, cold, belongs to yin. A male, dynamic, bright, hot, etc. belongs to yang. This, we can see, the womb is belongs to yang, and cold belongs to yin. Yes. The light is belongs to yang. Heavy is belongs to yin. 
and clear and dirty. Clear belongs to young and dirty belongs to in. Let's see. Moving and silent. Moving belongs to young and silent belongs to in. It's silent and bright. It belongs to young and it less dark. It belongs to in. Yes, very good. Let's see. The five elements. The five elements, also called Wu Xing, is also originate from <coughs> the Chinese theory in ancient China. It's also a theological theory in ancient China. Later, adapt to medical practice, becoming an important part of history and theory. Universal interdependence of all things and events. The five elements include wood, fire, earth, matter, water. It was used for describing interrelation and relationship between phenomena. The five elements in TCM of the terms of TCM. Wood, response to the leaf. Fire, the heart. Earth, the spring. Matter, the noun. Water, the kidneys. These are five elements or phases used to describe the visual function. We can see this wood. Wood. Its characteristic is flourishing and growing freely. And the fire. Its characteristic is warm, flaring up. And earth. Its characteristic is holding, production. Matter. Matter characteristic is solid and collaborative. And then we see water. Water is characteristic is moist and cold, flowing in a downward direction. They comprise mutual control and mutual promotion in relation to one another, working together to maintain dynamic balance within the world. Let's see. Qi, the vital substance, is the vital substance. The fundamental substance constituting the universe. All phenomena were the result of the changes and movement of qi. According to them, qi is the most essential substance that form the human body and maintain the normal life activity. activity. Qi is the most basic substance. Everything consists of qi. Let's see. Meridians and collect, collect and collaterals. The pathway in which the qi and blood of human body are circulated. Let's see, the essential characteristics of TCM. The first, the holistic conception includes the human body itself and the human body with the outside world. It includes nation condition and social condition. Nature condition is the sixth pathogen. It includes wind, cold, heat, damage, and fire, etc. Refer to joy, anger, worry, anxiety, sickness, fear. And TCM believes that it is the body's physiological response to the external environment. Social condition, it includes the seven movements. 